This is a review and comparison of the latest Masterpiece Scale Power Glide figure from Fans Toys called Warthog. The figure is roughly six and a half inches tall, right up to there. The reason that Fans Toys named it Warthog is because that's the name of the model plane Power Glide transforms into. Here is a DX9 figure for comparison. It is a smaller figure than the Fans Toys. It is not as cartoon accurate as the Fans Toys. It has a lighter shade of red. I prefer the red on the Fans Toys figure as well as the overall shelf presence of the Fans Toys figure. I like the metallic paint on the arms better on the Fans Toys than the DX9. Here's the box artwork for both figures. I really like the classical 1950s style illustration of Power Glide that DX9 box has as compared to the regular artwork of the Fans Toys figure. The boxes are the same height, however the DX9 box is a thinner and wider box than the Fans Toys. And then here's just more of that beautiful artwork of Ramjet and Power Glide on the top of the boxes. The back of the box has schematics of Power Glide in plane and bot mode and the Fans Toys has photography of the Power Glide figure. Both sides of the boxes are the same with the DX9 having stars on the side and the Fans Toys saying FT-54 Warthog. All Transformers figures come with instruction booklets and a credit card like plastic figure card. The DX9 is white and the Fans Toys is black, they are the exact same size. These are the four accessories that come with the Fans Toys figure. This is the alien mask from that episode where the Autobots were aliens in a movie. You see his blaster up there. And then those two pieces are individual pieces that you connect to the figure to put on an independent flight stand, which I don't have. These are the DX9 accessories, which are very similar to the Fans Toys. There you have the DX9 flight stand base that says DX9 on it along with the pieces used to connect to the flight stand. There you have the blaster and the alien mask and the female figurine from that specific episode, The Girl Who Loved Power Glide. Uh, the figure itself doesn't have any articulation on it. It has a base so that the figure stands upright. Uh, that's a real nice touch that unfortunately Fans Toys did not copy. Now let's have a side-by-side -side comparison of the accessories. Here the Fans Toys blaster is more cartoon accurate with less molding and a different paint scheme. The Fans Toys mask is green and is more cartoon accurate than the DX9. And the smaller Fans Toys flight stand pieces compared to the DX9. And the little figurine has some carved out facial features, although there is no paint for the eyes or the mouth. Here's a comparison of both figures next to the figurine. And here's a long shot of all the Fans Toys mini bots along with the DX9 Power Glide. Uh, from right to left, you see Huffer, Sea Spray, Warpath, Power Glide, Cliff Jumper, Beachcomber, and Brawn. There you get a shot of all of them for their size comparisons. And here's a shot of all the Fans Toys mini bots together. So you can see their height differences. I prefer the height of the Fans Toys Power Glide. Both figures have the gimmick from the end of the episode, The Girl Who Loved Power Glide. However, the Fans Toys figure has the cartoon accurate version. That's the way it looked in the actual episode. And speaking of cartoon accuracy, neither of these have the back of the head, which really doesn't matter. The cartoon accurate. Because in the back of the episode, the little this the back of the head sort of had the cockpit and everything there so neither figure has that correct for my personal pros and cons between the two figures i prefer how the dx9 wing looks on power glide in bot mode from the front and the side as opposed to the fans toys which has this double split look on it which i don't like in order to fix that, what you have to do is bend this panel back to then give it that singular look, although it looks wider now than it should. But I do prefer that streamlined thin look opposed to the split look on the other side. It would have been nice if when they had this figure, if they made it to where this went outward and there was some sort of groove here so that when you folded that in, it would 
be seamless and not have this double looking layer. When I got this, this part right here was open. It was very hard for me to shut this close. I had to take it apart and then put it together and finally squeeze that to, for it to close. That was that was an issue for me. Um, I know people won't mind. It really doesn't. It's pretty tight. I mean, there it's a little loose, but uh, it's not that wobbly I, as I've seen other videos where you see the figure and it's moving around. Mine isn't like that. Uh, some people have issues with the uh, the waist, the knees, and the ankles. Colors, paint is nice. It's beautiful. So I do enjoy both figures, although I do like the fans toys better. It has the accuracy, the look and feel of a more quality toy. It looks more like the cartoon. It's heavier. It's painted nicely. Also, if you look at this from the side, it always the DX9 seems to feel like it's leaning back as to where the fans toys doesn't. To get the articulation for both of these here, have the head goes from the side to side. The arm goes all the way back, comes out, has swivel. Have much bend. Movement of the waist. So you can put that in this. And the leg goes out to there. Comes out. And the leg goes out to there. at the figure like that so it's supposed to be you look at it from the side see how the shins go in marks going like that so from the back it looks like this right from the back it looks like that from the side like that and from the front like that swivel at the thigh and at the shin up and down tilt Oh, rocker, tilt and rocker. I personally like the figure a lot. I know it has its uh, engineering issues. I think that's one of the main cons of this figure is that they had to compromise the articulation in the ankles and bot mode to have the cartoon aesthetic and still have the figure be able to transform into the back of the plane. So there you have a review of both Masterpiece Scale Power Glides, DX9 on the left, and Fans Toys on the right. Enjoy the video.